hi guys it's Kia here and welcome to another youtube video in this video i'm going to take you through six exercises that have helped me grow my glutes from here to here within the space of six months as usual you're going to be getting some form tips and tricks do's and don'ts so you get the most out of each exercise you know before any workout you want to do some warm-ups some dynamic stretches to warm up the lower body muscles and get them ready for the workout and also before getting into the exercises it is very important for you to note that only these exercises will not get the job done if you're really looking to grow your glutes you know that nutrition is equally important you will need to be in a slight caloric surplus diet unless of course you're new to lifting and you've just started lifting weights in that case you can still build muscles while eating at maintenance calories if not you're going to need to eat at a calorie surplus 500 calories above your maintenance calories will do just fine if you don't know your maintenance calories yet you can use online tdee calculator to do that you're going to need to impute your weight your height and your activity level it is going to give you a rough estimate of what your maintenance calories are what calories are going to need to be in a surplus and what calories are going to need to eat to be in a deficit and don't forget your protein you're going to need to eat an adequate amount of protein to be able to build muscles I personally was eating 2 grams of protein per kg of body weight. So at 80 kilograms body weight, I was eating roughly 160 grams of protein a day. There were some days I would fall off the wagon and not meet the daily goal. Some days I would hit 100 grams, some days 120 grams. So I tried to stay as consistent as possible to hit at least 160 grams of protein and that worked for me now having the knowledge that these exercises would only help you build a booty if you can combine it with a calorie surplus diet with adequate amount of carbs and protein now let's get into these exercises to help you grow those glutes the first exercise on the list is a hip thrust you could use a dumbbell you could use a barbell to get the most out of this exercise make sure that your legs form a 90 degree angle at the top of the movement this is what you don't want to do arching your back and swinging your head back not controlling the movement you're only going to get back pain from this instead tuck your chin and perform pelvic tilt keeping that core tight and control your weights down and swiftly come back up and don't forget your mind to muscle connection you really want to think about your glute muscles extending as you go down and contracting as you come back up the next exercise is romanian deadlift there are different variations you could use dumbbells you could use a barbell you could use a kettlebell or you could even do the single leg variation they all work just fine get the most out of this exercise you want to avoid arching your lower back or keeping your upper body rounded like this Instead, you want to roll your shoulders back and lock it in place and then perform pelvic tilt and keep a bend in your knees as you go down think about pushing those hips back as though there's a wall behind you and you just want to tap it with your bum remember to keep the weight as close to your body as possible and don't go past your active range of motion stop right where your hips can no longer go back and come right back up the third exercise is Bulgarian split squats. If you follow me on Instagram, you would see me do this exercise a lot. And yes, they hurt so bad. And yes, I complain all the time, but, but I keep doing it regardless because the gains don't lie. You can use two dumbbells, you can use a single dumbbell, and you could even use a barbell. All these variations work just fine. If you find it difficult to feel this exercise in your glutes, this is how you can nail it all the time. Let's Sit back on whatever platform you're using and fully extend your working leg and then stand on it from here you don't want to stay upright because that is only going to work your quads this is what you want to do you want to keep a forward leaning torso so that at the bottom of the movement you have a vertical shin and like i've said before your mind to muscle connection is really important you don't want to just do the movement for doing sake 
control the movement be intentional think about your glute muscles extending as you go down and contracting as you come right back up the next exercise is sumo squats to get the most out of this exercise what you don't want to be doing is arching your lower back because this is only going to give you lower back pain instead this is what you want to do roll your shoulders back and perform pelvic tilt and keep your core tight throughout the movement the next exercise is deficit reverse lunges you could use dumbbells or you could use a barbell the same technique applies to get the most out of this exercise what you don't want to be doing is staying too upright because that will only make you have a lot of knee flexion and you start feeling it in your quads instead you want to have a slight forward leaning torso so that you have a vertical chain at the bottom of the movement feeling that stretch in your glutes as you go down the last exercise is step ups i like this variation i'm holding on to something with one hand for balance so i can get the stability issue out of the way and really concentrate on working those glutes to get the most out of this exercise what you want to avoid is pushing back up with the back leg this is not going to do you any good instead you want to control the eccentric down and push through the walking leg back up without using the back leg to push yourself back up a bonus exercise is cable glute medius kickbacks i give this exercise to train the side of my glutes to get the most out of this exercise what you want to avoid is arching your lower back you're going to get back pain from that so what you want to do is perform pelvic tilt keep your core tight and slightly turn the toes of the walking leg out remember to control your eccentric swiftly kick out and then control the eccentric down and that is the end of the video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and it was helpful to you if it was don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to drop in the comment section your thoughts and what kind of video you would love to see on this channel next once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week sunday